Hey everybody, it's Dave from Clean Pro Supply, and we're gonna talk about a variety of hard surface cleaning chemicals. You'll notice we have a variety of brands here, and the purpose of that is these are all of our best sellers, and we don't wanna pick favorites. I just wanna educate you on what people are buying, when to use each one, and how. Uh, of course, these are all gonna be in concentrate form from here over. These are sealers, these are ready to go. Um, but we have acids down here, alkalines down here, and kind of like a pH neutral over in here. Generally, the cleaning process is gonna start on the alkaline side of the pH scale, meaning above seven. Usually eight, 10, 12 pH, but our liquid gold is like a 13 and a half. So if you're doing uh, ceramic tile and grout cleaning, stone tile and grout cleaning, uh, countertops, showers, whatever you've got that you need to actually clean, you're gonna start with one of these products. So this is our best seller for ceramic tile and grout cleaning. It is a 13 and a half to 14 pH degreaser. Very, very aggressive. It's gonna clean really, really well. The soil is gonna almost lift from the grout on contact. I would still give it maybe a five to 20 minute dwell time, depending on the situation, how much grease or oil or, so or soil there is. Uh, but you're gonna mix this about eight to 12 ounces per gallon, apply it to the floor, let it dwell, scrub if needed. But because it's so aggressive, you really don't even need to scrub this. It's truly, truly needed. But most of the time it's, it's just gonna release on its own. Coming over to this product here, this is stone safe, whereas this actually I would not recommend using on stone uh, because it could dull the finish, it could dull the gloss. Uh, whereas if you have a gloss stone like a marble or a granite, this product is certainly safe on stone um, as well as this one. Both of these are gonna be very similar. I think they're both about a 12 pH. I think this one might be an 11.9 and this is a 12 or vice versa. But uh, great for a degreaser cleaner on tile and grout, ceramic, porcelain, stone, whatever you have. You can use it in showers, general purpose tile and grout cleaner for restoration cleaning. Coming over to this, we have Sager's Tsunami. This is basically a powder version of these. I generally prefer liquids for hard surface cleaning to avoid any residue. However, the chemistry of both of these products actually will not leave a residue. There are others on the market that will leave a residue, but the great thing about these two products is this will not leave a residue on the surface after you're done rinsing. Uh, a great product to use if you prefer powders or liquids for hard surface cleaning. Again, ceramic, porcelain, stone, laminate, linoleum, vinyl, whatever you've got, this will work great on as well as these here. Coming over one more here, this is our Green Revolution. It's kind of a universal pre-spray. You can use this for carpet, upholstery, tile and grout, stone, you name it, it's gonna clean it really, really well. Again, another powder version to that. Switching over to our neutral cleaner, this is more for the homeowner or the building facilities manager or the staff to use. This isn't really gonna be for the professional contractor. This is more to give to the customers as a maintenance cleaner in a mop bucket or an auto scrubber in between your professional cleanings. Unless you're a janitorial crew that's going out with an auto scrubber and just cleaning VCT, maybe in between your strips and waxes, uh, this is gonna be your, your maintenance cleaner, your daily cleaner. Uh, it's a neutral 7 pH neutral clean. This is gonna be about two ounces per gallon. Switching to our acids, let's say you start with an alkaline and it cleans all the dirt off the tile and grout, but you've got a little bit of staining in the grout somewhere. Maybe it's from wine or rust or some other type of stain in that grout. That's when you're gonna use an acid kind of as a spotter. You're gonna dilute this down and apply it to that spot. You'll notice it's gonna fizz up a little bit in the grout or on concrete because that's the actual reaction with the calcium in the grout. And uh, it's gonna etch away the surface of that grout or that concrete. And that's gonna remove that stain as long as that stain is more on the surface. So clean using these products. If there's any staining that remains, use an acid. Now, if you're in a restroom, um, usually commercial, I would personally recommend cleaning first and then just do an acid wash on the entire floor, especially around the toilets and urinals because this acid is really gonna get that grout cleaned up. It's also gonna help with the odor. If there's any urine odor in the grout, uh, these will get that out. You can use other products afterwards, maybe some peroxides if, if needed, but usually with uh, an alkaline and then an acid in restrooms, you get a really good clean floor. So you can stop there if you like, or what I recommend is sell sealer as well, because once you professionally clean the entire tile and grout surface, you wanna reseal that grout to resist future staining, make future cleaning easier, quicker. It's not gonna make it stain proof. Uh, it's not like it's giving it a membrane on the top, but these are both penetrating solvent uh, sealers that will essentially fill in the pores of that grout or even the concrete, whatever, you're, you can even use it on stone, uh, almost any surface really. This is a fluorochemical penetrating 
solvent sealer. Uh, both of them are essentially odorless as well. So really good to use in a residential home. You can also use it on a commercial job site, pretty much wherever you want. You can even put it on your clothes. I have one customer that puts it on his awning or his patio just to keep the water, you know, kind of pooling down almost like a Rain-X application, but it's the sealer. But you're gonna put this down on your tile and grout after cleaning. The big question that always comes up is, do I have to come back next day? No, because as long as there's no standing water after you're done cleaning, the solvent will actually penetrate the pores of that grout. It'll push the moisture out and replace it with itself. After you're done cleaning, I recommend maybe dropping a few fans or air movers while you're packing up your van. Then when you come back in, all the standing water is gone. Your grout may still be a little bit dark or damp. That's okay as long as there's no standing water. And then you can do your, what some people call the slop and mop method, um, or you can apply it directly to every grout line. But these uh, two sealers will work great. Now in a residential setting, you're gonna expect maybe three to five years out of that. In a commercial setting, maybe a year, maybe six months, depending on the amount of foot traffic and what they're using the floor for. Again, just to recap real quick, you have your alkalines for cleaning, you have your acids for etching or spotting or in a restroom, maybe do like a full acid wash. And then when you're all done, come back and hit it with your sealer. And then of course your marketing can be any approach you like, whether you're doing a clean and seal no matter what, or just a clean. Uh, but I would always factor in a little bit of a budget for acid, just in case you need it. Don't cut yourself too short. But that's gonna cover the wide spectrum of our hard surface cleaners for porcelain, ceramic tile and grout, marble, granite, any other stones. Um, travertine, terrazzo, vinyl, laminate, linoleum, pretty much any of those hard surfaces you can use a variety of these products on. And as always, if you have any questions that I did not answer here, feel free to comment on the video below. We'll respond or give us a call here at the store and we're happy to help. Have a good day.